Uh, it's rare to tame a perfect level 120 beaver and tame it with 100% effectiveness. So I'm going to make a little cheat sheet of its base stats in case anybody wants to mate with it or mate their beaver with it, to be more specific, sorry. What's going on guys, Unite the Clans here, back in Yelp life. And I don't do too many taming videos, but we are going to be doing one today. Uh, I need a giant beaver. Now, the one that's in here, he's probably woken up. Yes, he has. Now, that was the plan, was to let this guy wake up, and I think we're going to let him wander free on the island. Uh, this is just a level 44, um, and I was taming him. Oh, mother effer built a beaver dam right in here. Fool. All right, door's getting closed, and I'm raiding this mother effer. You know what? Uh, oh, he's angry already. I can't even look in there. Okay. Oh, you idiot. Okay, I guess we gotta kill this beaver. Get, get wrecked, idiot. Hold on, guys. Yeah, we're not taming this guy. We're taming a different one. Oh, he broke all my armor. Idiot. Get destroyed, you beaver moron. I didn't know he'd build a beaver dam in here. I'm gonna come drop a few beavers around the island. Alright, I'm taking all this, and we gotta heal up. F damn it. Okay, and now... Oh. Okay. Oh, this is a mess. What a start to the episode. So... I was about to tame this guy. Nope, I don't want to drop everything. I was going to tame this fool. And um, I was talking to Gil, who you guys, if you've been watching this series, you've probably seen him. I've seen him referred to as the always silent Gil, uh, as the ghost in the machine. Um, how am I going to heal up? I don't even have any meat cooked. Uh, okay, well, this is a rough start to the episode, but Gil said... Oh, if you're taming a beaver, beaver, I have some Gallimimus kibble I can bring over for you. Oh, I should close that door in case Gil, Gil comes by. Uh, and, um, and he's like, okay, well, I'll come down, I'll bring the Gallimimus kibble, we'll tame up that 44. And then, on his way over, I guess he found a level 120 beaver. Uh, so, this is gonna be fun. Uh, I may need more narcotics, but I've got lots up in the house. And, uh, it, you know what, the whole thing should go quick with kibble. I've never kibble tamed anything. Um, you make it from uh, dinosaur eggs and every creature on the island has a different um, has a different type of kibble that it likes. And this one likes Gallimimus kibble, who you guys know from the racetrack over yonder. Uh, I can't believe I broke all my dang armor. Alright, let's get to some meat cooking so I don't die. Um, Take that, take that, and we'll, we'll get this fire going. Um, so, I, like I said, we don't do too many taming videos in this series. I like to build. I like to build an arc. I like to... Uh, that's my favorite thing to do. So, that's probably what we're going to mostly do. But when I have an opportunity to show you guys a cool tame, I will do it. And I wasn't going to show you the 44, but if we're taming up a perfect level 120 beaver with kibble, life is going to be good. Uh, and Gil, I gotta say, it's so great. Uh, he, it's nice to have on a server like this a uh, guy who is just around. I don't think Gil makes YouTube videos. I don't think he streams. I just think he knows Dolan, who runs the server, and he hangs out. Um, maybe a, a yeah, just a, just sort of like a, a patron of the server. Every time he's here, every time I see him, he just gives me stuff. Uh, we killed an alpha together by the track, and then he just loaded my bird up with, you know, tools and <laughs> resources. He's just a sweetheart. Uh, and, uh, it's, honestly, it's nice to have somebody there just watching your back. When I tamed my Gallimimus, not only did he find it and drop it off at the our central, uh, one of our central tribe bases... But he gave me just like tons and tons of narcotics and babysat me. The Gallimimus is a lot like this beaver. You really gotta babysit him when you tame him. Uh, good. I'm all armored up. Perfect. And we got a little bit of meat. And I'll just say hi to Gil. Um, yeah, he's just sort of a patron. I don't know. Anybody who is on here making videos, he seems to just kind of help you out. And I don't know if it's because he likes my videos or he likes me or he's just 
a little bored. Uh, don't have enough kibble. So we'll see. I don't want him going out of the way to try and track down Gallimimus eggs and all the other things that you're supposed to you're supposed to use to make kibble. Um, but uh, I'm gonna collect some mayo berries. Okay, never mind. You see? See what I mean? Dude's making up extra kibble just to help me out. Started with, hey, I got some extra kibble. Want me to come give you a hand? Oh, sure, man. That doesn't seem like too much trouble as long as you don't mind. Oh, don't worry. I'll get you a way better beaver and then make extra kibble to bring over. So he's, uh, he's on the way. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have some... I guess we're not going to need mayo berries, but uh, might as well grab some berries and feed my guys. I'll take a little break here, guys, and uh, I will come back to you when uh, the ghost in the machine gill has joined me with a perfect beaver. Big old pile of kibble, and we will be set and ready to go. I was hoping to get a guy, uh, a male beaver, because I'm going to keep him with my parasaurs, and I thought it would be cute to name him Master Splinter, because all my parasaurs are teenage mutant parasaurs. Um, but the one that he found is a girl, so maybe we'll call her Miss Splinter. I don't know. We'll figure it out. She could just be called Splinter. Uh, I'm not... I'm not that picky. I guess I am that picky. All my parasaurs are guys because they're named after the Ninja Turtles. And all my raptors are guys because they're named after the Rat Pack. Uh, who obviously all were dudes. Um, Alright, let me take my break, guys. I'll come back to you when I'm with the ghost in the machine and we're taming a perfect beaver. There we go, guys. What the hell has this dude got on the back of his Quetzal? That is massive. I think he just dropped some stuff. I saw a package fall. Yes, I'm seeing many packages fall, but they're glitching. Let's see if I can grab that. There we go. What is this? Oh, just raw meat. Or er, rotten meat. Hello, sir. Gallimimus kibble. There she is. Madam Splinter. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Did Gil just drop it and, and head home? No, there he is. Nope, that's not him. Maybe he's gone. Just an angel dropping magnificent things off for me. Uh, I gotta make sure I have enough darts. For a level 120. Give me a sec, guys. And I do. So let's get underway. I thought Gil might stick around and help to help me handle this beast. But take that. It's going to take not that many darts, guys. So we'll, we'll stay calm. And it apparently doesn't matter with these guys whether you hit the head or the body. Uh, it was kind of cool the last one built a dam. I tell you, I'm going to go grab my Argentavis. Grab some beavers and just drop them on my island be kind of cool. Those dams are full of uh, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, and cementing paste, which is a kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, there you go. Reload this thing. Take this, take this adorable little creature down. If you guys haven't seen the beavers, they are, well, one, adorable. They have this weird little skunk stripe on their back. And, um, they are machines. If you guys saw... Shelly Long, the, uh, whatchamacallit, what is she? The Dodicarus that collects stone like a, a mother. These guys are the same thing with wood. Every stack of wood is like half or one-fifth the weight uh, in them. So they can just load up with wood and they gather it hundreds per bite. It's unbelievable. Oh, there we go. Okay. And is there a time on this kibble? It's not going to expire on me? Okay. No, like... Two years, 41 days. I don't know if that's what the actual time was. It might have been two days, but either way, we're going to load this beast up with that. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to need about 40 to 70. Let's just throw the whole, another half a stack in there. Uh, and I think this is everything we should need. We just got to stay calm now and let this beast tame up. It's going to nibble on the kibble. And uh, when it's ready, I have already got a saddle ready in the traditional purple of uh, Master Splinter's kimono from the old cartoons. And um, 
when it's ready, I'll ride it. I'll, I'll take you around and I'll show you. If anything exciting happens along the way, guys, I will uh, bring you back. But for, for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna handle this beast. Uh, I'll be back with you. Guys, I don't know if you spotted in the little chat up here in the corner. It's kind of gone now. Gil and I have been talking. But uh, when he came over, he was like, nice armor. And uh, <laughs> it's funny. I had a conversation with Mick Mastodon in our recent uh, recording session about my armor. I'm actually going to throw it into the middle of this video because I ended up cutting it uh, from the video Mick and Chris and I made earlier this week. It'll be out Thursday, by the way, guys. Uh, we hit the ocean, we tamed up some megalodons, did a little shark riding. It was an unbelievably fun night, and uh, the only problem is the video was exceptionally long, and I had to do a lot of cutting, so my chat with Mick came out of it, but you'll see. See, now I've gone with the solid gold armor. Yes, uh, let me let me show that again, because it's... <laughs> wanted something ki kingly. I wanted to look like a Baratheon. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're like Renly or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not as manly. <laughs> I was thinking Robert, but either way. Oh, oh, yeah, it's much more manly. Yeah. We got to grow right. a beard. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait till they add that to the game. Yeah, it's hilarious. I thought, I'm like, this is kingly. I feel like Robert Baratheon. He's like, oh, yeah, Renly. I'm like, no, no, not what I was going for, but I'll take it. I mean, this is solid gold army armor. It is a little garish, I have to admit, but I like the look of it. Uh, if you're going to be on a server... You gotta, you gotta have a little bling, because there's other people around. When I was playing by myself on an island, it didn't matter. I could walk around looking like a total schlub. But when you're playing with, uh, with other people, you gotta show off. If you, if you have solid gold armor, you wear that, and you wear it like a king. Uh, we have some time, guys, on this beast. Uh, she has eaten one kibble, and I think she's got another one coming. Um, so I'm just gonna keep up doing what I do, and I will be back with you guys. Normally when I'm taming a creature and I'm doing it off camera I'll just like throw on one of my favorite youtubers videos and I'll entertain myself But when I'm recording that's not really an option because if anything exciting happens You guys would hear B double O just talking about some nonsense So I, I find ways to entertain myself. You'll see <laughs> Oh, That's ridiculous <laughs> Limbo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there any more ridiculous poses I can get into? That one's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? I know I dropped it around here somewhere. Hmm, this thing looks amazing. It's beautiful. Oh, my back. Oh, this thing. Oh, this rifle is way heavier than you would think. Just line up the shot. Line it up. Perfect. This mole has been on my face way too long. Just gotta get the torch ever so slightly closer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Nope. Nope, this is terrible. There you go. Okay. Oh, that's a dumb game. What if I got stuck? Can't walk over the tail. That's annoying. I mean, I guess it would hurt. That's a pretty beefy tail. Oh, look at that little armpit marking. I like it. Has he got one on the other side? Yeah. 99.9? .9. What? Not sure why, guys, but he's dropped to 99.9. .9. It's clearly not going to make a difference at this point. Yes! Oh, my lord! We have tamed a beaver. Castoroid. Castoroides? Either way, the beaver is a large mammalian herbivore that tends to live near water. Unlike other larger beaver species, this one retains the chisel-shaped teeth of modern beavers. It doesn't seem to realize how dangerous the island is. I don't know if they're simply too dumb to notice the dangers or if it just doesn't care. Domesticated, the value of a tamed beaver is obvious from its physiology. The creature naturally gathers wood extremely efficiently, far more than most species on the island. But it's a natural lumberjack. Okay, guys, let's 
Saddle up this beast. Get saddled, fool. Okay, and we used 78, which is the maximum that the taming calculator said. The other bonus, guys, this is a mobile mother effing smithy. Everything I can do in my smithy table, uh, up in the hill cabin up there, I can do on this creature, who we will now name... Nope. UTC. Splinter. I love it. And it's that perfect name for a wood collecting creature. Let's mount it and let's take them for a roll. Let's let's do this. I think I'm gonna end up building a barn for this guy just like I built one for Shelly Long. And um, maybe I'll, I'll build a barn that includes the Teenage Mutant Parasaurs. That would be kind of cool. Um, you were about to see the magnificence of this creature. Ready? Oh, he collects berries too. 336 wood. Right? You know how long it would take me to do that? Watch. Look how much I get from this tree. Ready? 63. Let's go find another palm tree. And we'll see what this fool does. Here. Let's get one with no berries near it. Well, that might not be possible. I think we might collect berries no matter what. Ready? 316. It's unbelievable. And if I just keep going around like this, you're going to see how, how much we can carry. I haven't leveled this guy up a, a, a damn sight. But look. Uh, let me open him up. Her. Okay, the wood is 10 pounds. Move it over here. 50. So, this thing is unbelievable. Now, I'm not going to apply the levels. Uh, it's rare to tame a perfect level 120 beaver and tame it with 100% effectiveness. So, I'm going to make a little cheat sheet of its base stats in case anybody wants to mate with it. Or mate their beaver with it, to be more specific. Sorry. And, um, uh, and I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. I would love... It's a pleasure to introduce you to Splinter my newest beaver, and I'm going to ride him up to the Teenage Mutant Parasaurs, Leo, uh, Don, Mikey, and Raph, and um, I think in the very near future, we are going to have to build them a, a lair, a sewer of sorts to live in. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'll make that happen, but I'm thinking about it. Uh, geeks, thank you so much for checking out this beaver taming, beaver riding, magnificent episode. I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see you all in the next episode. There's the Parasaurs. Oh, they're all mixed in with my raptors. Ah, that's cool. I will see you all in the next episode. Giddy up! What have we discovered? An amphitheater? Okay. Yeah, this is a full-on full-on amphitheater. There is nothing too exciting here, though. And good lord, what have we discovered? I am worried about my frame rates, but we cannot not voyage into this wildflower meadow.